The Skyway Bridge collapse in Tampa Bay left 35 people dead, and a man that helped pull some of those victims out of the water says today's bridge collapse is resurfacing many memories. Images of the bridge collapse in Baltimore. It was almost an identical shot, almost an identical picture. Is a scene causing Robert Rayola to dive into memories after being at the Skyway Bridge collapse in Tampa Bay nearly 44 years ago. 44 years, do you still think about that incident to this day? Yes, I have days when uh, I have good thoughts and other days when, of course, something like this comes up that uh, uh, makes it difficult to, to forget. Both tragedies involving a ship crashing into bridges, causing both to collapse, leaving Rayola to help pull victims out of the water. Uh, as a combat vet, I'm a Marine. You don't leave anybody behind. My Navy partner, you don't leave anybody in the water. We did not want to leave that night. Rayola was the senior underwater bridge inspector for the Florida State Department of Transportation and said he and his partner pulled seven victims out of a bus that had fallen into the water. Uh, there was very little hope at the time. Um, the majority of the people died from uh, blunt trauma impact and seven victims that had drowned some in the vehicles that had toppled into the water. Rayola said the challenge for rescue crews in Baltimore will be the current and visibility in the water and that many of the vehicles may be entangled with the steel from the bridge that collapsed. I think the biggest thing for the guys in Baltimore is, is going to be when they're pulled off the job tonight that they're probably going to be concerned that they left some victims in there. It's a thought that haunts Rayola to this day. When you leave the house, give your wife and your family a hug and a kiss because you never know when your time is here. As he relives a tragedy, he didn't expect to witness again four decades later. Those were innocent people who had no expectation of, of not making it to the destination. Tonight, Maryland authorities say there are six people missing and presumed dead as the Coast Guard has called off the search for survivors and have now switched to a recovery mission. I'm Joel Lopez reporting.